Hey boys and girls, Miss Mullerin here, and I'm gonna read you another story. This story is Mia Ham. Winners never quit. Its illustrations are by Carol Thompson. Mia Ham. Winners never quit. Illustration by Carol Thompson. For my family, M.H. For Richard Hunter with love, C.T. Mia loved basketball. Mia loved baseball. But most of all, Mia loved soccer. She played every day with her brothers and sisters. Tap, tap, tap. Her toes kept the ball right where she wanted it. Then smack, she kicked the ball straight into the net. Goal! Everyone on her team would cheer. But sometimes it didn't work that way. One day, no matter how hard she tried, Mia couldn't score a goal. The ball sailed off to the left of the net or to the right. Or her sister Lovedy, the goalie, saved the ball with her hands. No goal, no cheering. Too bad, Mia, her brother Garrett said. Better luck next time. But Mia didn't want better luck next time. She wanted better luck now. I quit, Mia said. You can't quit, Lovedy said. Then we'll only have two people on our team. Come on, Mia, her sister Caroline pleaded. You always quit when you start losing. Just keep playing, Mia, Garrett said. It'll be fun. But losing wasn't fun. Mia stomped back to the house. Quitter, Love Dee yelled. Mia didn't care. She'd rather quit then lose. The next day, Mia ran outside, ready to play soccer. When she got there, the game had already started. Hey, she yelled, why didn't you wait for me? Garrett stopped playing. Sorry, Mia, he said, but quitters can't play on my team. Yeah, said Lovey. If you can't learn to lose, then you can't play. Ooh, I always say that, huh, boys and girls? Would you rather play the game and always lose or never play the game at all? So right now, Mia can't play the game at all. But in the game, Garrett passed the ball to Tiffany. Martin ran to steal it. Tiffany dashed around him and took a shot at the goal. Loved to block it. Mia just stood by the side and watched. Does it look like she's having any fun? The next day, Garrett picked Mia first for his team. Oh, so she decided that she wanted to play. Mia got the ball. She dribbled down the field. Smack! She kicked the ball towards the goal. And Lovedy caught it. No goal, no cheering. Too bad, Mia, Garrett said. Better luck next time. Mia felt tears in her eyes. She's going to quit, whispered Lovedy. I knew it. Mia still hated losing, but she didn't hate losing as much as she loved soccer. What do you think she'll do? Ready to play, asked Garrett. Mia nodded. Garrett grinned at her. He passed her the ball. Mia ran down the field. Tap, tap, tap with her toes. The ball stayed right with her like a friend. She got ready to kick it into the goal. Mia kicked the ball as hard as she could. Maybe she'd score a goal. Maybe she wouldn't, but she was playing. And that was more important than winning and losing.
because winners never quit. On the next page, there is a letter. It says, hi, I hope you've enjoyed reading Winners Never Quit. While playing soccer with my family, I learned the importance of being a part of a team and how to lose gracefully. Throughout my soccer career, these lessons have helped me succeed. I have often said there is no me and Mia because in soccer and in life, I could never do it alone. Whatever you love to do, remember, winners never quit. Mia Ham. On the next page, there are little, um, there are a few pictures of Mia Hamm, the, so the famous soccer player throughout her career. And it gives a little caption. And then there's the last page of Mia Hamm, Winners Never Quit. I hope you enjoyed that book, boys and girls, and I hope that you learned something about yourself. Would you rather play the game and always lose, or would you rather quit and sit on the sideline and never, ever play at all? I know I would want to play, 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 and try my best, and try my best at, at winning. Um, I would not want to always lose, but I think I would rather lose then never get a chance to play the game at all. I hope you think about that, and I can't wait to see you for our next story soon.